It is your civic duty to become a cyborg. I found a sign on an office door that said, People are cavemen still. I had no idea what it meant. I stepped inside and saw an android looking at a human brain in a jar. So you want to become a cyborg? No, I didn't say that. You are Mr. X, aren't you? Yes. That's right. I am Mr. X. You were named after an algebraic variable. But that does not mean that I do not have an identity. To become a cyborg, all you have to do is give us your brain. I don't want to give you my brain. What on earth could possibly motivate me to do something so self-destructive? Sheila here used to be a human, didn't you? Oh yes. I was a human until I gave up my brain. Now I'm a cyborg. Where is your brain? It's been deconstructed into modular soft circuits for cyborgs. Now my neurons serve dozens of cyborgs and if those cyborgs prove to be good wage earners, my neurons may effectively become immortal. Come on, you can think of a better reason than that. Oh sure. There are lots of reasons to give up your brain and become a cyborg. For one, cyborgs earn better money and have greater social prestige. People make deadly squat compared to cyborgs. Not only are cyborgs better workers, they never break the law. They are perfectly loyal and reliable. They respect the environment. They understand consequences and never do harm. People are airheads compared to cyborgs. When you think about it, it's your civic duty to become a cyborg. Increasingly, the percentage of cyborgs in our population is good for the economy, and what's good for the economy is good for the world. Well, I don't want to give up my brain. That's fine, sir. You do as you choose. Sheila will show you the way out. <laughs>